Shalom. Mr. All Praise, Lord, giving all praise and glory is due to Yahweh. Why see me outside? Why can't Yahweh? Why can't Yahweh outside? Why can't Yahweh? Why can't Yahweh outside? Why can't Yahweh? Why can't Yahweh outside? Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings and salutations to you, brothers of Jesus' work and sincerity and the truth, which are of the elect. And also those that, you know, blessings to those that, uh, that help uh, the truth and forward the truth. I shall alone. But, um, got a quick lesson here. Um, and basically, it's about, um, this labor of love that we that we are involved in, um, we really don't have a choice in it. It's just a labor of love. It's, it's something we love to do. It, it, it fulfills uh, something within our spirit, you know. Um, and we're prisoners to it, which is the main point. We're prisoners to this thing, you know. We're prisoners of hope, prisoners of hope for salvation, so to speak. You know, so I'm gonna go up through the scriptures and just uh, bring out a few scripts about uh, that we're prisoners to this thing. Um, first off, I'm gonna bring out um, Proverbs uh, 20 and 24. It says, "Man's goings are of the Lord Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way?" When you come into this truth, you, um, you're compelled to uh, to to. To follow this thing, to, to study it, to, to your spirit is turned on by it, so to speak. Um, you, 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 you must watch more and more videos. You, you want to study. You want to get into this thing. And it's not by accident. It's by design. From the Most High God. Yahweh, which is uh, the Holy Father's truth. Yahweh Sire, which is the Son's name. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Um, especially, if, well, especially, but when you're uh, chosen for this thing, because many are called or called for this thing, so to speak, many are called but few are chosen. When you're called to this thing, you don't have a choice in the matter. You just are a prisoner of whatever the Most High has you to do. And um, that's why I read that in Proverbs. Many are called. Man's goings are of the Lord Yahweh. How? Can a man then understand his own way? So whether you wanted this thing in your life or not, if you're called to this thing, you're going to come to it regardless. And once you're in it, it's going to fulfill a, um, a, a, a a void that has been in your life for your entire life. You know? and, it's, and it's exactly what we, what we need and what we've been looking for in our whole lives. Oh, real quick. Um, now I'm going to read this. Um, we start here with uh, Ephesians. This is the Apostle Paul. Uh, Ephesians 6 and 20. It says, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start up at 18. It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And the saints are the Israelites, or who you, who you call today the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered across the four corners of the earth. Yeah, that's the, the West Indians, and the Haitians, and the Mexicans, and the, um, and the Native American Indians, and the, and the Seminole Indians, and the Tainos, you know, and the, Af the Aztecs, you know, um, and the Puerto Ricans, to, to, to plain speak, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, uh, Guatemala, Chile, and you know all all of those South Americans and uh, West Indians, but they're scattered across the four corners of the earth. Those are the saints, um, but only an elect one third in the 144,000 uh, men will be chosen to get this uh, to get this truth and chosen for salvation. Uh, it says. Um, Verse 19, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Yeah, because the, the spirit through through the, the spirit through the teachers that we have, starting with uh, the apostles that came most on on down, uh, opened up our understanding to this word. You know, and then now we're out there speaking boldly uh, to the people. 
you know, the prophecies that are coming, the things that uh, that people don't really hear that that world of America want the world to continue in the fashion of the team. Speaking to, to the Edomites, which are the so-called white people, um, descendants of Esau, but this is their kingdom telling them that it's about to crumble and go down. That World War III, martial law, you know, the RFID microchip is marking the beast, that famine, that destruction, all this stuff is coming here to, to America and, and different parts of the world. And that ultimately, when the Muslims come, America will be destroyed. So the, for I am an ambassador in bonds. You know, in bonds, it says right here, it says in bonds, it says chains in the, in the bond. And boss, and boss and chain. So you're a prisoner, so you're, you're not free. Even in the truth, you're not free. The problem with this whole American dream and lie and all of this that, that, that people believe in is that people think they're free. White people aren't even free. You know? The, the other heathen nations aren't even free. Let alone you so called Negro Latino Native American, you Jakes. You, 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 you see, you sons and daughters of Jacob. You guys are not free. The most high, um, it, it's controlling you like a robot so some of you he allowed you to be wicked ass demons and some of you he called and put in the hand of his son Yahweh Shah who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ to um, to be to be his his real church to, uh, re, to restart the, and repopulate the earth with Israelites while the rest of you gotta die um and that and that's the bond that we're in yeah, to do this truth to study to show myself the food to um to be about, you know, going out and teaching, making these videos, and, and so on and so forth. It says, for which I am an ambassador, and that makes us an ambassador. So go to these different people and go out on the streets and teach and, and push these videos out. That, that makes us an ambassador unto the people and bringing them to the ambassador for your house shop. It brings them back to your house. It says, for I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. All right, now we're gonna go to um, Ephesians 3. Keep going backwards. Ephesians 4 and 1, it says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherein ye are called, and the duty which you are called with in this and the skilled labor which you are called. Let me see what this definition has for me. The calling which you are called. You know? In verse 3 and 1. That was Ephesians 4 and 1. This is Ephesians 3 and 1. It says, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, for you Gentiles. Because he was sent out to the Gentiles. And those Gentiles are Israelites that he was sent out to. It's not like he all of a sudden went to a different people. He was always from the Israelites. You know, but, but a lot of those Israelites didn't know they were Israelites and were following, following other heathen customs and lived in other heathen lands. And even some of them believed that they were from those other nations. Um, let's go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 1. 2 Timothy 1. 2 Timothy 1. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stirred up the gift of the Most High, um, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. And of love and of a sound mind or self-control. It says, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shah, or Yahweh Shah, nor of me, his prisoner. Yeah, we're prisoners to stick to the doctrine. We're prisoners to to to, to put the effort out for this truth. You know, we, we that's what we, we have to do. We're in chains. If if, if we if we be not prisoners in this thing, we're slaves and prisoners to the world, which is to be destroyed. Um, it says, uh, read it again. It says, but, it says, be thou, be not thou, therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shah, nor of me, 
his prisoners, but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. Matter of fact, I want to grab this, because this is Paul speaking again, which Paul wrote many epistles, um, you know, to the different churches out there. Um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1 says, uh, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of your house. You know, so follow the Lord as he follows the Lord. Um, right, so I'm going to read that again. It says, be, thou, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh, you know, nor of me, his prisoner. So follow me and, and be a partaker and, and be not ashamed of the testimony and, and, and don't be ashamed of me, his prisoner, somebody that I'm in bonds with his doctor. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in bonds with his, with his life and with his truth, with his responsibility to deliver this, uh, this gospel to, unto the people. And even for us today to deliver this, um, this truth unto the people, uh, uh warning them of, of, of the destruction coming. It says, uh, but be thou partaker, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the most high God. Yeah, because this it is it is afflicting according to this world. You know, it's something you, you give up your Saturdays, you give up your free time. But what what more, what better could we be involved in? You know, I, I, I think about what would I do with my life if I went back into the world. I don't I don't have anything of any meaning or any long-term meaning that I would even care to be involved in. But that's me, you know. Um, it says, who have saved us and called us with an holy calling. And so that's coming into this truth. Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. We didn't grace meaning to get something that you don't deserve. And you're giving something that you didn't deserve. It says, um, as a matter of fact, it says, not according to our words, because we were all wicked, you know, and going off before we came into this truth. But now, you know, that we've been we've been saved in a sense of being woken up to this truth. Now, Lord willing, that, that leads to the ultimate salvation, and you know, to get beamed up into those chariots, which are people call the, uh, the UFOs, which are the chariots of the Most High God. Um, and get salvation when America is destroyed and different parts of the world destroyed. You know, that's the ultimate salvation. That's the real save that you want to be. It says, um, which was given us in Yahweh before the world began. Yeah, because he, he would have chose us, chosen us if we were chosen. We were chosen before the whole world began. All right, now I'm going to go to, um, go to Philemon. Philemon 1 and 1, it says, Paul, Paul again, right? A prisoner of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved and fellow laborer. Yeah, fellow laborer. So you're following what Paul does, like, and following what Timothy does, our brother, you know, and being fellow laborers in this truth. Putting the word out there, studying to show thyself approved, doing live shows doing uh, sit downs, doing the, these lessons, and, uh, and going out to camp, and, you know, and hope to get his salvation when the day comes. Uh, I think there's another one. Yeah, verse nine says, yet for love's sake, I rather beseech thee, uh, yeah, let me start up at uh, in verse 8. It says, seven, six. Shit. Go all the way up. Start at verse 5. Verse five. <laughs> Damn, verse 4. It says, I thank my power, making mention of thee always in my prayers, hearing of thy love and faith in the things that are needed, charity, faith, you know, care for the most high, uh, 
faith is, is, is things that you don't see that you that you believe in things that you you hold tight to this truth though even though you don't have a, a, a sure certainty that it, that it will come true but through the spirit we do have a sure certainty and it's and it's founded in faith it's in reality through faith even though faith is some some uh, as Ted the atheist would say um some some uh, mythical belief unfounded in anything but that's the point of faith uh, it says um in hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast toward the lord yahweh yahweh by shimei hashai was said the lord jesus which means our lord um yahweh shai and toward all saints but that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you, in your Havashah. You know, everything that you guys, the brothers bring forward in this truth, every part of their spirit that they bring out, every joke, every every rebuke, every correction, every um, exhortation, every um, any time a brother goes deep into a word and brings a certain amount of knowledge out, all of that, you know, is, is all towards the, towards the spirit and the, and, and, of Yahweh Shai. You know, it says that the communion, read again, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Yahweh Shai. And you have to be a prisoner to that. You know, you're in bonds to that. You're in chains to that. You're a slave to that. We're a slave to this, to this truth. You know, because it takes that time not you know you give as much time as you can to it you know your free time and you said like it says uh, the word leisure in your leisure give attendance to reading you know in your in your spare time you know you you, 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 you know you read it says um verse seven for we have great joy and consolation in thy love because the bowels of all so I, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee brother is wherefore, um, though I might be much bold in the house, so I to enjoin thee that which is convenient, yet for love's sake I rather beseech thee, being such a one as Paul the aged, um, Paul, Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of the house. Yep, that was a um, Paul writing about Philemon, you know. Um, basically that he was also a prisoner that he prayed for the and he, and like when apostle um the car just came out to la we were down there um it's a beautiful thing and i'm sure he will go back and tell the other apostles and the other brethren that he comes across and it will always it builds up our spirit for him to come out and it builds up their spirit for for them to um to hear about him coming out and him to, to tell them about what he came across you know I mean, that's what this does. A certain certain brother spirits do that to you. Certain, certain brother's knowledge does that to you. You know, it's all it's all a beautiful thing. All because it builds up the body. You know, and we're all one in body. And when we come together, like Voltron, we become more powerful. You know. Um. Let me get this one. Yeah, last scripture. I don't want to make it too long. That's Zechariah nine. sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Yeah, we all coming out of this this pit, so to speak, called America, this prison called America, um, which there's no righteousness in this land. We're, we're here, and we're slaves in, in this land to, to the American system, but now we're being called out of it, you know? Um, into this truth, into waking up and out of and out of that out of this pit and into the truth, Lord willing, completely out of it, that we be now partakers of, of her sins, of America's sins, and, and the, the destruction that comes to America. 
It says, um, let me read again. As for thee also, by the blood of the covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners, and that's also the new covenant, as well as the old covenant, both of By the blood of the covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, the elect, out of the pit, wherein is no water, tearing you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. And that's the main point. We're prisoners of hope, prisoners of expect expectation. We, we hope and expect to, if we do this work sincerely, that we'll make it out, that we'll get out of this this uh, this pit, out of this out of this captivity, out of this slavery here in America. That's for the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. You Jakes, you 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 sons of Jacob, Israel, Yasharala in the ancient Hebrew, meaning uh, sons of or princes of the power of the Most High God, children of God. You know we're, we we want to come out of this pit. We want to wake up out of out of this um, out of this nightmare, you know, the spiritual uh, sleeping nightmare that we're in. And we again says verse twelve. So turn you at the strong to the stronghold. The stronghold is this is this truth. Is 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 the is the is this work of truth that that we do for for the Most High God. You know, this His wisdom. This is the truth. This is the stronghold. This can't be broken down because of the Creator, and, our, and, our, and the Creator is, is, is chosen people are, are us, and, and it's for our benefit because we are His people. Like if any of you, if any of you, uh, true parents had children, you're not gonna willingly lead them astray. You're gonna lead them to where it's safety and in, 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 in the right things of the world. So the same thing with the Heavenly Father. It says they'll turn you to the stronghold. You prisoners of hope, even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. You know? Double double the blessings unto thee and double the um the uh the punishments onto the uh onto the wicked. So with that, you know, I hope hopefully brothers was edified by this. And I tried to keep it short, try to keep it down, but I think it was a lesson that um uh, we need to remember that that we're prisoners to this thing. So, so be a be a faithful servant. Servant goes back to to prisoner. Goes back to uh, to slave. You know, that's that's what we are in this thing. You know, so 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 spend your time wisely in it. Do the, do the best you possibly can because we're almost out of here. You know, so so be a faithful servant unto the Most High and unto your house side, your house and your house side, and um, with that, so shalom.